Hi everyone, so today we're making a bone broth. It's not really that complicated, but you do need an inexpensive pressure cooker. Um, I got bones from my butcher, ground beef mince just from the local supermarket, peppercorns, star anise, some lard, celery and onions. Let's get going. So we're going to throw in our lard and over a very, very high heat, I want you to caramelize those onions and celery until they're gorgeous and brown. Once your vegetables have caramelized, tip in the mince. And you want to cook over a very high heat to get that mince nice and brown. Next up, your peppercorns and your star anise and the bones. Nestle them nicely in there. And we are going to top up with cold water. And don't forget the vinegar. And what you want is you want to bring it up to a boil and you'll notice that lots of foamy impurities and scum rise to the surface. Scrape that off and discard it. Right, so once it's come to the boil and you've skimmed off all the scum and imp foamy impurities, we're just going to secure it and leave it to cook for two and a half hours. I'm going to go walk my dogs. Right, so after your pressure cooker has safely decompressed, you can open it. I've actually had a pressure cooker explosion. It's pretty scary, so I would advise you fill your sink with ice cold water and place the pressure cooker in there for 10-15 minutes. should be fine to open then. So, I've got my broth. I've got these gorgeous pieces of bone with just incredible gelatinous fat marrow. What we're going to do is we're going to remove them and place them in a colander placed over the bowl just to drain them off. I'm not going to discard them, I'm going to be enjoying them later, possibly making a second broth from them. If I can find all the black peppercorns, I can pick them out and actually make a broth for the dogs. Uh, next up, we're just going to strain the vegetable and mince mixture. This mixture is can be used, but it is incredibly bland. All the flavor is being cooked out of it, but it's still edible. It's still food. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook it up with some of my roasted marinara sauce and just add a ton of bacon or something. And there, you want all that beautiful broth. Any juice that ran off from the bones, you can just add to that. We're now going to put this in the fridge because I want to remove all the fat, which is kind of tokey everything that keto stands for. But for a clarified bone broth, you do want the fat removed. And what happens is when you put it in the fridge, all the fat is going to rise to the surface and it's going to solidify, which makes picking off and discarding the fat the next morning so much easier. And you don't have to discard the fat. You can use it to cook with. And that's your bone broth. I'm actually having a glass of dry Prosecco this evening because it is our Scottish Terrier's 10th birthday today. Happy birthday, Mr. Higgins. Mark suggested I let him enjoy all this delicious gristle and marrow surrounding these bones, but I think Mr. Higgins will have to fight me for it. Just follow the safety guidelines. It's crap. Let's do another one. Okay, I've got some bones from my butcher got some beef mince. Hi everyone, so today we're doing a... Start again. Stop. And the... And don't forget the vinegar. Put that in after the Well, that happens. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Cheers! 